Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I am Vineet and first of all, before I start this video, I would like to wish all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel and the viewers of this video Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. I hope you are having a wonderful time with your family and friends and to all the subscribers who have been with me for a long time and also those who have joined me this year, I uh, thank you for supporting me. Next year, I am planning to make a lot more videos on Linux including some network related videos like building a captive portal for your small business or office. So stay tuned to XPS Tech and now let's start today's video. Linux has a bit of learning curve and if you are not a computer student then that curve may get a lot steeper for you. And one of the main reason for that steep learning curve is the complicated software installation procedure. However, the new application distribution systems like Snaps, Flatpak and AppImage is trying to change the current system and simplify the process of installing a software making it kind of similar to that of Windows and Mac. So in today's video, we are going to check out one of these applications called Flatpak. Alright, so let's begin. Now let's start off by first talking about the current scenario so that those who have never used a Linux distribution also understand. In Windows or Mac, the process is pretty simple. You have an installer file that ends with .exe for Windows and .dmg for Mac. You open the file to run the installer and with few clicks, the program is installed. You can download the installer file from anywhere on the internet. However, in case of Linux, the process is a bit complicated. In Linux, the primary method of installation is via command line. Every distro has its own repository, which contains all the supported packages. Then there's a package management tool that lets you download and install a package from these repository. apt, yast, yum, and pacman are examples of package management tool from popular Linux distributions. There are also GUI front end to these tools like apt has aptitude, and there's Synaptic Package Manager and then GNOME software which is provided to simplify the software installation procedure. These are similar to App Store on Windows or Mac. However, these are not matured enough and sometimes you may not find all the applications or packages in the repository available in these GUI front-end stores. So you are basically limited to the softwares available in the repository of that distribution. If you want to install a package that is not available in the repository or an updated software not yet arrived in the repo, then you have to get an installer file which is different for different distribution. For example, in case of Debian or Debian based distribution, it is .dev files, .rpm for Red Hat and Pacman for Arc and so on. And if you still do not find the software installer file for your particular distro, then you may look for a tape archive file or tar file in short, which contains source code binaries. You need to compile the software for your system to install, which is a little complicated. And that is the reason my first video on YouTube was on this topic. I have found many people having difficulty with installation of a tar file. So if you're one of those people, you can check out my video by clicking on the right top corner of your screen. I'll also post the link in the description of this video. So you can see the problem and therefore new application distribution system like Flatpak is trying to address this problem. So let's now understand what is Flatpak. So Flatpak is a tool developed by Free Desktop Project and Alexander Larson, the principal software engineer at Red Hat is its lead developer. Flatpak is a cross-distribution application packaging system. This means that there is only one installer file for a program that can install the program in any Linux distribution. Alright, now let's understand the Flatpak process of software installation. 
Now let me tell you right at the beginning, presently Flatpak do not have a GUI front end, but we can expect one in future. So this is how Flatpak works. You need to first install the Flatpak tool on your Linux distribution. Many Linux distribution nowadays comes pre-installed with Flatpak or at least Flatpak is available in the repository. Or right, once installed, you have all the Flatpak packages in your arsenal. You can install Flatpak packages in two ways. First is via command line. Now Flatpak packages end with the .flatpak ref extension. To install a Flatpak package, open up terminal, type in Flatpak space install, again a space dash dash from and then the link to the Flatpak ref file. Now the second method is via the GNOME software. So you can download the flatpak.ref file from the internet and then run the file. This will open GNOME software app and install the software via the GNOME software. Now to update a Flatpak package, you can type in Flatpak space update and press enter. This will update all the installed Flatpak packages. Or you can also type in Flatpak space update space a package name to update one particular application. To uninstall Flatpak package, you can type in Flatpak space uninstall space the package name. Alright, now let's talk about the advantages of Flatpak. First, Flatpak packages are sandboxed. That means that the app runs isolated from critical parts of an operating system. So it's more secure. Second, it is updated directly from the upstream or from the maker of the software. So the updates arrived faster. Third, Flatpak can be built by anyone and you can download a Flatpak ref file from any source and not just the Flathub which is kind of the official store of Flatpak packages. And now let's talk about the issues. First, it is still command line so we have not actually moved away from using terminal. Second, the number of applications available in Flatpak is very small. There's just only 170 plus apps on Flathub. And third, it is not available for servers. Alright, now my final verdict. Flatpak is a step in the right direction, but it's still not mature right now. And I think there's a long way to go. Also with players like Snaps and AppImage, I think we are again going down the same path of fragmentation. I think it may lead to Ubuntu and its derivative using Snaps and few other choosing Flatpak, which will not solve the real issue. I hope the Linux community stick with one format which becomes universal across distribution. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, please type that in, in the comment box. And thank you again for watching the video and I'll see you next time.